Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, in this one, I'm going to be showing you how I used a augmented version of the Langchain Auto GPT walkthrough with a DuckDucks, a DuckDuckGo agent or a DuckDuckGo tool to help me write summaries about things that happen in current events. Um, this is more just for me to kind of get more familiar with AutoGPT because I've seen it a lot. I've played with it a bit on my local machine from the actual repo. I think it's pretty pretty cool. Um, it's also pretty expensive if you leave it running. So, you know, just be careful of that. And yeah, so without further ado, let's just hop right into it. So in this video, I am going to be just using a Jupyter Notebook. Uh, we have all of the things that we need installed. Uh, you don't need this or this actually, um, but I'm just gonna walk through how we do it. So first thing is we're going to install Langchain. Uh, the next thing we're gonna need is just, we're gonna need a vector store, an in-memory doc store and embeddings. And this is just for the memory for AutoGPT. Uh, so I've already loaded up my OpenAI API key just not showing it to you guys because ha, you're not going to use my API key. Uh, that is a no-go. Um, we're also going to need to install uh, DuckDuckGo search. And here's like the first part of the actual code. So I don't know if you can see this. I'm just gonna uh, blow this up a bit. Okay. Um, so first we are getting our embeddings model and we're using the OpenAI's embeddings model for this. Uh, and we're making a vector store out of the FI, FA, the Facebook. I actually don't know what that stands for, to be honest, F-A-I-S-S. -S. Um, I know it's Facebook, but I don't know what the actual thing stands for. Uh, the name escapes me at the moment. Um, but we're just going to create our vector store and Next, we are going to create our DuckDuckGo search tool. So we're going to import the tool class from Langchain Agents, and we are going to import the DuckDuckGo search tool. And we're also importing these two tools, uh, write file and read file tools. So AutoGPT can basically write the things that it's doing. So for this, I'm gonna just say, hey, can you write me current events about yada, yada, yada? And using these tools, you'll be able to write files uh, directly to the directory. So let's say you're you know, writing a Substack article and you're having some trouble getting started. Maybe you're writing current events about something, maybe about AI, a lot of newsletter newsletters uh, about AI. And you want to be like, uh, hey, give me the current events on all the stuff in AI today. Use DuckDuckGo to use a preliminary search and it can just kind of start putting some thoughts down and help you get started. So we are then going to construct our DuckDuckGo tool. Uh, we're gonna name it search, search.run, and then in the description, this is uh, what we use to tell the agent how to use it. So it's useful for when you need to search for answers. And I'm saying that the function takes natural language question and make it a targeted question. Like, let's be specific. And then we're going to pass that tool into our array of tools along with the write file and read file tool. And now on to the cool stuff. So for this, we are going to be importing the AutoGPT class from Langchain's experimental library. And we're going to be importing the chat open AI model. We're gonna call this recent GPT. It is a recent, uh, recent events assistant. So first let me actually uh, run these. And so as you can see here, we have its name, its role, we're passing in the tools, we're passing in the large language model, and we're going to be using chat open AI, temperature to zero, because we want these, uh, the outputs to be somewhat deterministic, we don't want to get too wacky on us folks. And yeah, we're also passing in the memory as the vector store that we had constructed above, and we're passing it in as a retriever. Uh, the next thing we're doing, oh, yeah, just uh, agent chain verbose. This is just so you guys can see 
all at home, what I'm doing. Uh, and then this was just a task I had from previous, uh, from like just previous testing, but I'm just going to say write a summary of recent AI tools that have come out. So once we do this, we're going to run the agent and then we can talk a bit about what's going on inside. So as you can see, it has its goals. It's listing out all the commands and has the resources so it knows that it's got internet access. Okay, let's see. So the command is search. What are some recent AI tools that have come out? The AI tools let you retouch them. So this is the uh, response, or I think something that's getting from the internet. Um, Midjourney, best AI art generator that's been out for a while. Moonbeam, best AI copywriting tool, yada, yada. Now you can see thoughts. Okay. Plan, short bulleted list, list that conveys long-term plan. Assistant reply, okay, so text. I think I should start by searching for recent AI tools that have come out. Reasoning, this will give me an idea of what tools are currently available. So you can see that it's like, it's. this is the cool part about chat of auto GPT is it's like, so it has like the step where it's like, okay, I think this is what I should be doing. And then here's the reasoning behind it. And something else I like about it is that it has criticism. So it's saying, I need to make sure that I'm searching for tools that are relevant to my goals and I'm not wasting time on irrelevant information. So it's just a pretty interesting way to kind of do things. Um, so it's gotten that. So, so it's gotten some search results and now it is using the right file command to save the information to a file. So the path is recentaitools.txt. So if we go here, yeah, just ignore all these. We've got a bunch, but this is it. And if it loads, okay. So it's kind of put something down and it's not half bad. Uh, I think this would be a great place for you to just say, Hey, these are some good. These are some good tools that I should look into for my newsletter for today, or something of that sort. Uh, so you can do this for like any industry if you want. Something I found with doing this in the notebook for some reason it just kind of goes in the loop, and I don't really like that because it's wasting my money. So I'm probably oh okay. So it's also writing the recent AI tools summary.txt. Now that I have saved the information. Okay, I should write a summary of the tools using the information I gathered. Okay, uh, thank you. Thank you, uh, AutoGPT. Let's see what it said. Okay, so, okay, that's uh, pretty lit, uh, not gonna lie. Um, some of these tools I've seen before, some of these I haven't, so I'm gonna check them out. Um, but yeah, this is kind of just the TLDR on AutoGPT. I am gonna stop it because I don't want it wasting more of my money. Um, but cool. Yeah. So I guess like high level, um, for this video, auto GPT is fairly new and I would definitely say for me, I suffer from shiny object syndrome when it comes to AI, uh, because every day it feels like there's something new coming out. So if you also feel like that, uh, just remember you're not alone. I'm also suffering from GPT induced anxiety. Um, but it is something to keep an eye on, I think. I think it is important to just stay up to date with what's going on because you don't want to be doing something that you could be doing in a better way because something else came out, uh, while at the same time not getting distracted from the work that you're currently doing. So I just kind of wanted to make this video and show you guys uh, what I've been exploring. I know this is only the first video of the week. I will try to get one out on Saturday because I did say I was trying to do two a week. Uh, I do have another one coming down in the pipeline. I'll have more time to work on it after this video. Um, but yeah, no, that is pretty much it for this. If you have any questions, I can uh, put this in a GitHub repo. And yeah, thank you all for watching. Um, like, subscribe, comment, hate comments. Uh, yeah, anything that you want. And yeah, there's no outro, so uh, goodbye.